and I know this about you. you you're very strong on this idea of becoming your best advocate, your own patient advocate in a way. Was, was that, it had to have been born from necessity for you, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, because I did not see much help out there, even, um, even with functional medicine doctors, I saw a few people. Mm -hmm. And you still had to figure out your own treatment protocol. You would have to take things from each doctor and kind of put it together and see what would work for you. And that, that creates a, a longer process, but it also empowers you to really do the right. research and tr truly understand yourself. Right, right. It, it, is, is it the, the, the process of like trial and error that gave you a better understanding of what worked with your yes. line? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Because we are all different. And, and this is why I'm not even going to ask you about the particulars of what you, you saw helped you. Just because, you, you, I mean, you could talk about them if you'd like, but I don't feel it would help the audience listening to hear that. Because I, I know this, and again, something we've discussed a little bit, is this idea of someone shares their treatment program that you go run out and try and think it's going to work for you, which is 99% of the time not the case. Correct. Were, were you doing that yourself where you were looking for other people to kind of give you some insight into your own condition or were you already sort of just totally dialed in on, I'm going to try it my way and just see how this goes? No, I always thought I had to do it my way. Okay. I would try to learn from everybody what worked for them, but I wouldn't try to repeat it because I knew that, you know, I'm different. I'm very mm -hmm. sensitive. And I would have to start very slow. And I think my experience with glutathione IV is that what made it click in my, in my brain. I said, oh, wait a second, you know, I really have to figure out exactly what works for my body. Mm. And that's why when people ask me, well, what do you do? What helped you? You know, but I'm like, you can't just repeat no. what I'm doing. You know, you have to find exactly, you know, you have to do trial and error. That's what you have to. Everyone wants the protocol, the answer, the silver bullet. What was the treatment that really helped you? Um, I, I've realized that really doesn't matter as much as it does matter to be persistently being your best advocate, as you said, and right. always right. looking. And did you have a specific, let's say, system of tracking things or were you journaling kind of how you felt or energy during the day or? you know, putting spreadsheets together or was it just an intuitive sort of thing? Oh my God, I did a spreadsheet. You did? Okay. I, I, did. Would have, I, I do spreadsheets for everything. So <laughs> I'm, I'm such I a did, spreadsheet yes. guy. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Every day I would like, you know, I would track my symptoms and, you know, all the treatments I was doing, how I felt, my sleep, everything. Yes, I was tracking. But eventually I got so bad mm. that I couldn't even be on the computer anymore. So wow. then I had to just kind of do it in my head. What was the lowest point there for you? Was it, was there like an inflection point or rock bottom? Yes, a few years ago. Yeah. I would have to say I, I was getting better for a few years eventually. You know, I was kind of coming back to health. I saw, you know, I had hope in my, you know, in my head. I was like, oh my God, I'm coming back. And one day I overdid it. Mm. I went driving to a mall. I went shopping and I carried these heavy bags. I could barely make it back to the car where I was parked and I drove back to my home and the next day I was just out like it was a truck ran me over and after that I was just in a horrific state for about a year oh, wow. um, and I did have a lot of yeast issues at the time mm -hmm. and again I started taking oregano oil because I did not want to do um, you know ketoconazole or something like that sure. and i didn't realize at the time that oregano oil could also wipe out all the bacteria all good and bad bacteria in your gut and what happened oh. to me <laughs> it yeah. creamed me completely mm -hmm. until i realized that oregano oil was adding to me not being able to come out of that relapse so that was kind of my lowest points where i couldn't even speak mm -hmm. I, I could have few words. Um, I couldn't even have a person in the same room as me. I was bedridden, basically. I had my mom help me dress, undress. I couldn't even sit. Uh, I had horrible orthostatic intolerance. So even, forget standing, 
I couldn't even sit and eat. So I would have to lay down and eat, um, you know, eat laying down. And even eating would make me exhausted. Um, mm -hmm. Extreme sound sensitivity, wearing earplugs basically 24-7, uh, suffering badly, you know, sore throat. Uh, my lymph nodes were enlarged. Just feeling like I was going to die. And um, so that was the low point in my, um, in my life, especially as I was getting better. Mm. And then to lose years, years of progress and then be stuck in the state. That must have really messed with you, right? You feel like that, you're on this really path messed. out. You feel like you see a light at the end of the tunnel and then it's just gone. Yeah. Ooh. Like, and then, did you lose yeah, hope like completely I did. at that point? I did. Yeah. That's when I, I said, you know what? I'm going to die. Mm. I felt like I was going to die. I, you know, I was just laying there on my couch, counting every minute of the day to get to bed so I could try to sleep and forget about the suffering. But even sleep, you know, wasn't mm -hmm. a great. Um, and that's when I realized how, you know, horrific this disease can be, how it can you can get, you know, you can start getting better and then it can just be all taken away yeah. if you overdo it. But, you know, it creates this PTSD of some, you oh know, of some sort. Like it's, you never want to push. And it, especially since it kind of is, it, it, I feel like it messes with people because you do have good days and you have hope and then it just goes right back down. Yeah. Like you said, it was like getting better, get like I see the light at that and, and then it just, it turns and it's just a little bit of exertion, a little bit of stress a little bit of some sort of trauma, and that's it to get yeah. you really back down to almost where you started, if not worse.